Well, good morning and welcome to this Church of the Venerable Bede. And before I say any more, I've got a cigarette lighter here. I don't smoke, but uh, I'm going to light the candle to recognise the light of Christ in our midst. So, here we go. Burn my fingers. There we go. Lindsay and I were just discussing that uh, we haven't got the Paschal candle, and here at the Venerable Bede we have a new Paschal or Easter candle. Um, it's two feet high, and it's got a transfer with 2020 on it, and that, and Mothering Sunday, and lots and lots of other parts of the church year are all going to have to be crammed in some stage later in the year, perhaps in the autumn. Anyway, that's another time for now. Today is the eve of the Feast of the Venerable Bede, and I'll be saying more about him in a little talk later on, but we're in a time of waiting of the church year. Um, Thursday just gone was Ascension Day. Next Sunday is Whit Sunday or Pentecost. So there's 10 days in between and the church for the fifth year running is being asked to pray for the coming of the kingdom. That is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Christ. So, and that's, that's from the Lord's Prayer and uh, from the old Lord's Prayer, thy kingdom come. So I bid you, whether you're a churchgoer or not, whether you're a Christian or not, to pray for the coming of God. A better world. We're all hoping for that, I think. A, a new world in this time of waiting is a greater time of waiting for the nation and the world, but we're in this particular 10 day period between Ascension Day, just gone, and Pentecost next week. And as I say, today is the eve of tomorrow, which is the feast day of the Venerable Bede. So more about him later on. But now I'm going to hand over to Lindsay to lead the service. Well, good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see some people joining us. There's definitely a few people there. I can see Monica, who is one of the church wardens here, and Jed and Sue and, and others who I can't see the names at the moment, but good to have you with us. And good morning to you as well. So today we are in this period between Ascension and Pentecost where we're waiting for the Spirit to come and how that will transform the lives of the people then but I guess we're also looking for transformation for ourselves now so if you know the service or if you've got a copy of it do join in where you can and uh, good to have you with us so grace mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you almighty God to, to whom, whom all hearts, hearts are open, open all, all desires, desires known, and, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! So now we come to our prayers of penitence. This is the time when we call to mind all the things that we wish we hadn't done, all the things we know we should have done, the ways which we've hurt others, the ways in which we've been hurt, and we confess them to God so that we can receive the forgiveness he has given us already, but so that we can know that forgiveness. So today, I suggest we just spend a moment or two of bringing to our minds those things that we want to think about, that we feel called to think about right now. And then we'll say the three responses and then I will uh, say the words of absolution. So in the quiet, call to mind those things you'd like to say sorry for. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now hear how God has forgiven you. May Almighty God have mercy on you 
forgive you your sins and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to use a collect for the Venerable Bede, a special prayer. God, our Maker, whose Son, Jesus Christ, gave to your servant Bede, grace to drink in with joy the word that leads us to know you and to love you. In your goodness, grant that we also may come at length to you, the source of all wisdom, and stand before your face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. That's the Gospel reading, isn't it? And I didn't realise I haven't got the book with the reading in it. But, but I, I have. That Lindsay has, but I could go and get it from the lectern and over on my right, your left. But Lindsay's going to pass me the book, bless. We hear the, hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? To you, Follow me. So the rumour spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them. We know that his testimony is true, but there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. So a few words today about the Venerable Bede. And we had a reference there, um, a lovely idea of all the books in the world not being able to contain the things that Jesus did because he did so many wonderful and beautiful things. And the Venerable Bede based his life on Jesus from the earliest age. And we know that his parents, um, the, the, the saying is, gave their son, quite a tender age, to the monks at Mount Wearmouth. But it was so that he could have a very good education. And he had probably the best education available uh, at the time. And um, he went on to write a book, and it's absolutely marvellous. You can buy his book today. Bede lived from 673 to 735 AD, so we're not far shy of 1,300 years since he died. So that's how long it is since he, since he left us. Uh, well, look, Lindsay's going to make okay. it even bigger for you. You can buy this book in any shop now, or buy it on Amazon if you have to, but uh, they don't pay tax. So get it from a local bookshop and support more jobs. But, you can, but it's a marvellous book, and I'm biased in saying it's a marvellous mm. book, because Bede is only remembered in six English parish churches. That's Church of England parishes. And this is the only one in the Diocese of Leeds, which now has over 600 parishes. Lindsay's Church, Mary, well, goodness me, St. Mary, there must be loads of them. Tons, millions. Well, certainly the world over, not in the Church mm. of England. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but this is the only church dedicated to Venerable Bede in Leeds, and there are just five others in the Church of England. And here's a thing that not everybody knows. In that book, uh, a little village in Yorkshire called Lloydis or Lloydis is twice mentioned. And this is the earliest record we have of Leeds being mentioned in print. And it's Ben Bede, what did it, what wrote it. So there's a, it's lovely that this church from uh, 1938 that uh, was when it was opened, and it was opened on the feast day of Bede, 25th of May, 1938. It's lovely that this church, dedicated to him, honours the man who named this city uh, in his book written way back in the 7th century. And just another bit from that book, he mentions the uh, Synod at Whitby, which uh, famously gave way for the Church of Rome over and above the sort of Celtic church which was developing in these islands, and possibly more famously, that was the synod that set the date of Easter. 
you'll know how complicated that is. But Bede is, as I've written in our church magazine for this month, a kind of saint for our time. Might seem a strange thing to say, but at the moment we're all obviously very preoccupied with coronavirus or COVID-19. We're all rightly preoccupied with the fact that a, a very sad number of people have died. Whilst 999 out of 1,000 people in this country haven't got it or haven't died from it, that one in 1,000, which is 60,000 people getting on for, have died. And so it's um, a, a terrible time for us living at this time, as we probably all of us uh, know of somebody who's died with COVID-19. Well, Bede, as a young boy in this monastery, uh, was growing up, uh, surrounded by monks whom he loved, and they loved him. But he tells of a plague uh, visiting at the, the monastery. Uh, maybe it was just local to the area. It may be more widespread in the north of England. We don't know. But the fact is, it killed all but two people in the monastery. Just one monk and a boy were left to say the offices. We're not talking about just morning and evening prayer. We're talking about prayer being offered seven times a day in the monastic church, maybe a church a bit like this. And this monk and this boy would have been saying and singing the offices. It's just like Lindsay and I are just two left in here at the moment, uh, but it's government diktat that says only two of us can be here and we're from the same household. Well, there was Bede and this monk in this church. We know it had to be him. Who else but this young boy? Who else could it be apart from Bede himself? And he would have been aware of other monks, maybe young novices like him, also dying around him. How hard it would have been for such a young child, and also for that monk, witnessing all that sadness going on around them. So he grew up with that, and that was part of his makeup. He was just a bit older than I am when, uh, when he died, which was a very good age for anybody living in the seventh century, 62, uh, when he died. But um, he had that, carried that memory from being seven right through his life of that time of plague and loss of loved ones. So. He is a saint for our time, but underlying the foundation of his life and faith was his belief in the Lord Jesus. And it's kind of appropriate and symbolic and wonderful in many ways that he died on the eve of Ascension Day in the year 735. You can see his tomb today in Durham Cathedral. I'll point that way because that way is north and Durham Cathedral is in that direction. But his tomb is there along with Cuthbert who wrote a biography of Bede. And uh, uh, he died on the eve of Ascension Day, and we are now in Ascension Tide. Mm -hmm. Well, he was a man of prayer, um, and uh, it's appropriate after the sermon, Lindsay and I, we're not going to say the creed, uh, we move to a time of prayer or intercession. And I'm going to invite you with me to times of silence in the prayer, prayers, so that you can offer your prayers for situations and people you know who ask for prayer. So let us pray. Let us pray initially for all its beauty and grandeur, but also ugly in some ways because of things that have gone wrong with it. So there may be situations, particular countries, people who are suffering in all sorts of situations. We hear of uh, people dying in great numbers in some countries. So let's just hold situations and countries we know in a moment of quiet. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. And we come to our own country beset by coronavirus, COVID-19, as much as anywhere else. We pray for our National Health Service, Pray for key workers and particularly carers in our care homes scattered around the country. So let's pray for the healers, for those bringing wholeness and healing to different people around our country at this time. Let us pray also for the leaders, our political leaders, who have a difficult job. 
pray for our scientists, all those working with the confines, constraints of these times and trying to find the right way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And because of coronavirus, we're aware of so many people in hospital, also those who are suffering at home, and not just from coronavirus, from all sorts of other conditions, maybe some whose treatments have been postponed, even cancelled as a consequence. So let's hold before God our nearest and dearest, maybe neighbours we know who are in hospital, any who are suffering at this time. You might want to name them out loud in your home today. And pray for all who watch and wait with them and suffer with them, and sometimes suffer at distance because of not being able to visit them in hospital. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. And remember those who have gone before us with a sign of faith, those whose faith was known, sometimes only known by God alone. We pray for those who have died, particularly those who have died recently with coronavirus and other, other conditions. And we pray to you for those who have been bereaved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the Venerable Bede and St. Mary, and of all the saints, we commend ourselves and all people to your unfailing love, the merciful Father. Accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your, your Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Well, now we come to that point in our service where we share the peace together. And once again, we're not able to uh, physically shake your hands um, or wish you God's peace in your own home, but we can use the greeting like this. And if you're with others in your household, there's no reason why you can't um, shake their hands or kiss them. So uh, feel free to do that. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace with you. Peace with, with you. you. We continue our service today. We have bread, we have wine. If you're at home and have bread and wine, then uh, do feel free to uh, see them as you wish. In your home different people will have different views on this but um, it's all part of us being part of God's church together the Lord is here his spirit is with us lift up your hearts we lift them to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise father you made the world and love your creation you gave your son Jesus Christ to be our Savior his dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, 
send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, when supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, Lord by, by your cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. free. You, you are, are the Saviour of, of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done, be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. feast. Alleluia! And through the body of Christ. Lindsay, the body of Christ. Amen. Through the blood of Christ. In the blood of Christ. Let us pray. Merciful God, who gave such grace to your servant Bede, that he served you with singleness of heart and loved you above all things. Help us, whose communion with you has been renewed in this sacrament, to forsake all that holds us back from following Christ and to grow into his likeness from glory to glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for, for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. 
Send, send us out in the power of your Spirit to live, live and work to your, to your praise and glory. glory. Amen. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to sing. Our eyes have seen the glory. Um, but the words of the chorus, of the, the verses, are the ones from Mission Praise, so um, they're different to the ones I'm used to. But the um, chorus, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, Glory, glory, hallelujah, all hail ascended king. If you so. always sing it, we ought to say about next week, next oh, Sunday. Okay, I was going to do that afterwards, but we can okay. do it now. Well, it's just that we can finish with praise and dismissal, can't we? Okay. Um, so next Sunday, of course, mm -hmm. is Whit Sunday or Pentecost. We're going to be in St We're going to be in St Mary's in the morning. And it'll be 9.30, won't it? It'll be 9.30 at St Mary's, yeah, for Pentecost. So you might want to wear something red. Because we will be, okay? So this is so you can prepare yourself. Red is the colour. We're in white now because it's Easter season. But Pentecost, we wear red. So if you've got something red, wear something red next week. Wear a red nose. Well, I was thinking, well, if you, whatever you got, really. And then we're going to. That's at 9.30. That's at 9.30. And then at 5 o'clock, we're going to try having some songs of praise. So... Uh, Tell everybody and uh, get them along. Now, unfortunately, we can't all hear each other. Um, and I know some of you got lovely voices, so that's a shame. What we're going to do, and Sean's working on this, thank you, Sean, is uh, we're going to look at having uh, a backing track um, of various songs that, uh, well-known songs and all the rest. Songs that we often do at our Songs of Praise service are five o'clock on the last Sunday of the month. So we're going to do Songs of Praise and We'll put on Facebook before then a list of the songs and a Word document with the, the songs on so that you could sort of download it and join in. And um, so that'll be five o'clock next Sunday. And, oh, I don't know what, oh, he's getting the music ready for the next bit. Yeah, so five o'clock next Sunday from um, St Mary's Songs of Praise service. So it all goes according to plan. So... Pray for that during the week that it happens, and do join us. But now we're going to sing, uh, Our Eyes Have Seen the Glory. And Take just to away. add to what Linda's saying about this hymn, mm -hmm. each verse, even if you don't know the line, uh, ends, All hail ascended King, glory, glory, and then each chorus ends, All hail ascended King, and we're in mm -hmm. Ascension Tide, hence this hymn. And of course it is the tune of um, uh, Tom Brown's... Um, John Brown's Body, whatever it is, and the uh, marching song. Um, the battle Hymn of the, the Republic. Battle Hymn of the Republic. I knew I was, it was there in my mind somewhere. John Brown's so, Body. So um, feel free to um, march alongside it or whatever. And clap, and shout. And clap, shout, yeah, ring your tambourine if you've got one, or bang your drums, whatever. Okay. Okay, by the way, this, this is Monica's job. Our church warden, she has this little Ujima flip every Sunday mm -hmm. and aims a beam at the machine. Behind. You can see the light on the left of your screen over my shoulder. Here we go. Our eyes have seen the glory of our Saviour Christ the Lord. He is seated at his Father's side in love and full accord. From there upon the sons of men his spirit is outpoured. All hail ascended King. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, hail ascended King. He came to earth at Christmas and was made a man like us. He taught, he healed, he suffered, and they nailed him to the cross. 
He rose again on the Easter day, our Lord victorious, all hail ascended King. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. All hail ascended King. The good news of his kingdom must be preached to every draw. The news of peace and pardon and the end of strife and war. The secret of his kingdom is to serve him evermore. All hail ascended King. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, O oh, hail ascended King. His kingdom is a family of people of every race. They live their lives in harmony, enabled by his grace. They follow his example until they see him face to face, O oh, hail ascended King. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, hail the Satan King. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Or even had a laugh watching us. You're welcome. Our final dismissal today. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Bye. 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 See you next week. Bye.